Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to use some straws and do some straw blown flowers. I have a smaller canvas. I think this is an 11 by 14 inch canvas so it's a really nice size. Uh, I also have um, a really light beige that I'm going to use, black, uh, burgundy, red, and two shades of orange. Um, one of them's more of a yellow color, yellowish orange that I'm going to use and just create some flowers on my canvas. I really like using these colors. Um, I've used them before and they make kind of a poppy looking flower. So I just wanted to do um, something like that today. I have each of my colors mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, sometimes I use Sargent Art Gloss Medium, but I figured if I can get some cells, that might look nice. And Floetrol tends to help me get cells in some of my pieces. So I'm just using my beige as a really light base coat, and I'm just going to smooth this out. For this technique, I like to create puddles of my colors and then blow them out with the straw. So I'm just going to do a variety of puddles on my canvas and you can do a mix of colors. You don't have to use every single color in every puddle. Um, you could also change up your colors, use more of the burgundy in some or more of the red in others. It's really versatile with um, something like this and it's very easy to do. So I'm just gonna blow them. You can blow them out a little bit. I like to blow them up too uh, and just kind of create uh, petal shapes with my, um, with my straw. So from here, I'm going to just add a tiny bit of black at the bottom and then also run it through and make my stems. So I've got a lot of leftover paint. I might do some dips with these. These would be really pretty colors for um, some flower dips in another video. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and we'll get some nice up close pictures of it. It looks really cute. I really like the way that the colors blended. Um, you can get some really nice, like there's one petal and then you have the red. So I really like mixing up my colors with this and not just doing um, one straight color for each flower. Um, like I said, I have a lot of leftover paint, so I may do some dips with this uh, because these will be really pretty colors for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, if you have other ideas for color palettes or some different types of flowers that you'd like to see me try, let me know. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching today.